remember your champion expectations. Welcome back to Reading with Mrs. Kreifels. Yesterday we were exploring the drama genre from the Thanksgiving Dinner 2088 book and we talked about how we could tell who was speaking in the story. Today we're going to explore, I can use illustrations to describe characters and setting. We can use the illustrations to help tell us about who's in the story and what's happening in the story and that can really help us understand what we read better. What does this illustration tell me about the setting and the character of Timo? In the illustrations, I see Timo is wearing high-tech sunglasses, which shows me that this drama takes place in the future. The room Timo is in has a table and chairs. I also notice a window and a light. It looks like Timo and his mom are in the dining room. I pay attention to what Timo is doing. I see that the special glasses he's wearing are projecting a movie, and he has a big smile on his face. The way he's standing shows me he's excited. From these details in the illustration, I can infer that he's familiar with this technology and enjoys using it. And here we have our anchor chart about describing characters, where you pay attention to what they do, say, think, and look like, and how they interact with each other. Now, I've just shown you how I use illustrations to describe the characters and setting in a drama. That helps me learn more about the characters and what is happening in the drama. Now you'll get a chance to practice this strategy. Okay, now's your chance to try it on your own. What does the illustration tell you about the setting and the character of Aunt Brittany? Think to yourself and be ready to share. Okay, first graders, we've been talking about how we can use illustrations to tell about the characters in the setting. Here, here today, we were just looking at this page here with Aunt Brittany on it. And now this illustration shows, what does it show? It shows Aunt Brittany with a spoon. So I'm gonna write Aunt Brittany with a spoon. So I might know that Aunt Brittany is cooking or doing something of the sort. Aunt Brittany looks like, she doesn't look like a first grader, not at all. Aunt Br Brittany looks like she, is older. I think she's definitely older than you. So we can use illustrations to better understand the story and tell about the characters in the setting. It's not just the words that help us, the illustrations can too, but those words sure do come in handy. So as you read today, I want you to be aware of noticing things that give you clues about the characters and the setting. Okay, just to remind yourself, what does the illustration show about Aunt Brittany? And Aunt Brittany looks like, does it look like she's cooking or what does it look like?